What's going on, brothers and sisters? Happy Martin Luther King Day. Uh, coming in to do another video on the Beach Body Transformation. I did that other video, um, was it last Monday? And I said I was going to bring every Monday, tell you my progress. And if you want to follow along and do this with me, you can. Um, in this particular video, I want to talk about cravings, inches versus weight loss. Um, during this particular transformation I'm going through, um, you have to live around other people and that's what make it difficult when you're around your uh, girl, your wife, especially your kids. They eat other things that you're not eating on your particular plan. And you know like just for instance yesterday, uh, the kids had some cupcakes from one of the neighbors they brought over now. Chocolate cupcakes. I'm a chocoholic. I love chocolate. I can eat chocolate I'm blue in the face. Uh, double stuff Oreo cookies is like crack cocaine to me. I will eat the whole bag in one setting with a big old glass of milk. I love Oreo, but I don't bring it around me because I know I would do that and I can't contain myself. So the best way to fight these cravings is out of sight, out of mind, and even sometimes you may have to leave the room. Just so, I mean, you, yes, leave the room sometime if you cannot fight all these cravings that bad. Or grab you uh, some fruit, grab you some water, or grab you a stick of gum that's uh, sugarless gum, and just get that sweet craving out of your, your system. Because these things that you're eating will defeat you in the end. Because when you're trying to lose weight and get fit, it's more so about 80% diet and 20% um, gym. And, and weightlifting and anything else that you're doing because you can do all that stuff in the gym or, or even at home working out and then you go sit on digital and defeat the whole thing you just did so you have to watch your diet and fight these cravings uh, with family um, sometimes people won't understand like what are you doing or you can have this you can have that you don't look that bad and you know what you're trying to get to a certain weight you know, people tell me all the time, why are you trying to work so hard to lose, you know, get this certain way and say, man, if I look like you, I'd be great. And I'm like, but I want to get a certain way. That's just me. Um, I won't back off from what I'm trying to do. So stay focused on what you're doing because a lot of times people want to start giving up uh, as the time go along in the new year to say start reverting back to eating at McDonald's, back to eating all this other stuff. You don't want to do that. Um, this week, for me, um, I lost, I was at 231 pounds, okay, and I went down just to 230. Now, you may say, what happened? Why you only lost one pound? Well, it's a thing called inches versus weight loss or fat loss, or you want to call it. And sometimes you'll drop down inches before you hit another weight loss. Because see, the first week, I lost a bunch of weight, which is also water weight also. Now, I dropped down inches. So my experience with doing, you know, trying to, you know, weight loss and stuff like that is now this particular week, I'm going to drop a bunch, I'm going to drop weight. My goal is five pounds. So what, since I know that this week I'm going to drop weight, I'm turning my cardio up very, very intensely, doing the same amount, but t intensifying it. Like, um, I do 20 minutes, say for instance, like today, I did 20 minutes on the treadmill at 6.0 at a 1.0 incline. I, I'll do that, do my weights, then after that I go to the Stairmaster on fat burn mode 20 minutes and I'll start off on a level 7. Now I do that on my uh, weight lifting days. And the days that I don't weight lift, I'm going to do the Shanti and Sanity workouts for my cardio. But you still got to do your cardio every day no matter what if you're trying to get to this point. And don't get discouraged because sometimes people get discouraged and quit when they see, oh man I lost a pound, oh, no. oh man I didn't do nothing at all. And especially when you don't lose at least nothing and you know you're doing right, you know you're trying, but you don't see nothing. Don't give up because your body starts losing inches sometime before it starts dropping more weight. And don't let that scale determine your success. As long as you're not gaining weight, then you're doing good. You see a scale and you're like, dog, I'm at the same or I at least lost one pound. At least say, hey, I lost a pound, I lost two pounds, whatever. Don't get down, don't get discouraged. Because anything worth having is going to take hard work, time, and patience. Just like it took a lot of hard work, time, and patience for you to gain weight and get to where you want to be by the McDonald's and the Burger King and the uh, King Taco for some of you out there in California, or Tommy's, then the chili cheese fries out there in Tommy's, shoot, out there in California. Um, you know, whatever you like to eat, you know what I'm saying? Then it, it took time for you to get that. So. We want to stay encouraged and we don't want to give up on what we're doing because when we get time to get to the beach this summer, 
We want to be able to take our shirts off, or if you're a woman, you want to be able to be in your bikini, and you want to just be proud, and because you know you worked hard in the winter months. So I'll check back in with y'all next Monday, let you know if I hit my five pounds or not, or more, and uh, try to give you more tips and different things that you may deal with daily.